Hello friends, how are you? This is Miki Menez. Uh, finally, I make a video in English because uh, I was reading many comments from you that you was a bit disappointed no? that uh, I, I don't make a, a video in English and I understand you. So I apologize. Um, I will try to make uh, since now all my videos in the two language. Uh, but if you are Spanish, si eres español, podrás eh, ver el vídeo en español, completamente íntegro en español, en el link que encontrarás debajo de este vídeo. Ok, just a warning for the Spanish people, in case that they want to see the same video in, in Spanish. Eh, so, the previous videos was just talking about, uh, about uh, generic concepts, like the contest and, and basis for, for our models in different contests, which is very interesting, and I will do more in the future, and we will try to translate so don't worry please just give me time but in that uh, occasion I wanted to explain a small technique something very simple that uh, usually I always forget to explain in all my articles because it's something small no? so I spend more time explaining uh, another techniques like the fading or the other kind of weathering the washes the filters in that case is how to use a different tool to apply the gun metal pigment Mm, do you remember this, this, this product? It's uh, the gun metal. Uh, probably many of you have. Um, most, uh, most of us, especially me, I, I, I was used to apply it with, uh, with my finger or with any other kind of tool. But a friend from South Spain, Sergio Fenoy, uh, from here I send you, send you my best regards, my friend, uh, he, uh, he teach me a, a nice technique using a rubber brush. This is rubber, it's not uh, hair, it's, it's uh, typical rubber. You can buy this kind of brushes in any artist's uh, hobby store. Uh, but in that case, this one is very big, but I will show you and I will explain you how to use a small one to make metal effects in our tools, in some part of our tanks uh, that need to show the signs of the, of the metal. So don't miss it and let's go for it. Thank you. The rubber brushes are an excellent tool that can help us to apply the metallic pigments in our vehicles. We can use it for our tools, but also for the edges and different metallic parts in our tanks. And the gun metal pigment is the perfect product to recreate the steel effects in our models. This is a well-known product, and now we will use in a different way, combine it with the rubber brush. You can find different types in the art stores, but I prefer the bevel brass. This type have a flat surface that will help us to apply the pigment with much more precision. Just open the jar and take the pigment directly with your brass, like you usually do with another tools. Just a small amount will be necessary to create the brightness in your tools. Rub the surface smoothly to create the highlights in your tools. You can see how the metal aspect appear very fast. Be selective and don't apply the metal in all parts of your tools. Dark areas, shadows or rust must remain on it to create a more realistic effect. Also, apply over the sharper areas and at the edges, creating a very realistic metal effect. Sometimes it's better to apply only small touches in some specific areas of your model. Don't be exaggerated. Try to apply the minimum as possible to create a realistic sensation. The rubber brush also is very good because you can create different intensities in some part of your model. For example, here I will apply more quantity near the clamps that uh, hold the, uh, the town cables, but I don't want to apply in other parts to keep a contrast and to keep it more realistic. The tracks is another important area where we can use our new tool. We can apply the pigment very, very fast using the rubber brush. The links have always an external shape, a external surface, where we can apply easily the pigment. As you can see, I am applying the pigment only in the external part of the link, the visible part, keeping the shadow areas 
without the pigment. It will create one more time more contrast. Well, friends, you have seen that uh, that technique is, uh, is really simple, very fast, um, much better, of course, than to do it with the finger. No? Anyway, uh, I hope you like it. Uh, I will make more videos like this. I will try to make all of them since now in English, I promise you. Uh, and I have very good ideas for the, for the next one. So stay connected to, to our channel. Finally, uh, the teaser from today uh, is from our friends from Croatia. Uh, in, especially from Zagreb. It's a group of modelers, very nice people, uh, and they make a nice contest too. And I recommend you to all of you to go to Zagreb because it's a beautiful city, especially if you can go to the contest, will be a fantastic experience. And Croatia is one of the most beautiful countries in Europe. So, uh, my best regards to all of them, and thank you to all of you to stay just here watching this video. Thank you, and until the next time.